coger una croqueta, una empanada de carne y una colada, por favor. All right, we are here at the infamous La Carreta on Bird Road and 87th Avenue. It's an iconic spot. Been coming here for God knows how long. I mean, I, I still come here like almost every morning yeah. at this point. So let them know what we're going to be trying today. Some of the staples here at the Ventanita. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So at this institution, we got the famous, the infamous Croqueta de Jamón. And then we have an iconic, you know, little beef empanada or una empanada de carne. All right, so we're just gonna, and then obviously we can't forget our little colada action. Uh, fuel right here. The Cuban, Cuban gasoline, as we call it. You know, if you don't, if you've been to anywhere, you know that we run on colada. All right, colada is our <laughs> life. Too. All right, all so. Right. All right, so, you know, I know like the common thing is the crispiness on the outside, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. and then the softness on the inside. We kind of know there's been many croqueta reviews, but at the end of the day, this is like a second home, so. Let's give it a shot. There you go, you go first. Everybody knows the rules. I was gonna hold my banana here. <laughs> Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with that. Solid as hell. Super crispy. Super fucking full cool inside. It's hearty. It's like a it's hearty. hearty. bro. When you're hungover, or you just want like a little cook family meal. I'm gonna you're get like, that. I wanna go get that, bro. I'm gonna get that. And then on the flip yeah. side, we have an empanada. A lot of different variations across all cultures. Obviously here at this Cuban institution. It's a little fried empanada, you know, we'll do a little peek oh, at the filling. Break. We'll do a little break in the middle, as you can mm, see. That looks good. A little ground beef, some raisins in here too. So For let's real? go in there. Yeah, little raisins. Oh, yeah. Little raisins, let me take a quick bite. I mean, I know what it tastes like, but I mean... Let's hear it. As empanadas go, man, I mean, this is... It's actually really good. It's fresh, it's hot, it's soft, has a little bit of crunch to it too. I mean, like God just said, it's a... I would say more of a breakfast kind of meal. Yes. I think you know, it's a during good breakfast. little snack too, though. It's a good little snack. It's quick. It's small. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, you can never go wrong with an empanada, especially here. I mean, you have empanadas de carne, you have the pollo, pinaca, jamón y queso. So depending on what your vibe is, I mean, you have so many variations of empanadas you can enjoy. But the beef, iconic. You can never go wrong with this one right here. What, what do you rate it? Ten, um, 10 being the highest, one ooh, being the lowest. Um, I will give this a solid 8.3. I'll give it an 8.3. I think it's a good empanada, but we always gotta leave room for a better one. It's hard to rate croquetas, I think. Obviously, he's like Anadia's, which we're not there yet right now, but you no, know, that's an iconic one. And, but you can't go wrong with this. If it's traditional, it's hearty, like you said, I'm gonna give it a solid uh, eight, eight flat. It was warm, it was really good, fresh. I don't know if the number 10 croqueta exists. I don't, I don't know, know. That, but eight, can't go wrong with it. Solid beat. Hey, looks, I think, great first spot to visit. Many more to see. Oh my many God. more dishes to try. This is just, but this is just Ventanita talk. If you want iconic, you want just overall, just it's the true like Miami Cuban experience, La Carreta, you can never go wrong. And then obviously to flush everything down. Alfin. You can't, you can't, you know, you can't mess up the poor. A little colada cheers. Salud. As we finish off our journey here at La Carreta. Salud. Salud.